Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use AI to HTML, which is a great script for Adobe Illustrator that lets you quickly turn infographics that you've made in Illustrator into native HTML um, web documents. And we'll go through it step by step and I'll show you guys how it works. And it's really quite easy. We're just going to go over the basics today, but there's lots more you can do with it. Before we get started, I just want to give credit um, you know, to this tutorial to a former, former student of mine, Audit Tamby, who um, created the deck we're looking at now and the um, GitHub repo that we're going to be working from and did this, this exact same demo in a data visualization class of mine a year or so ago. And Audit is a really talented visualization designer who's an intern at the Washington Post right now. And I'm sure you'll be seeing lots of great things from him to come. So what is AI to HTML? It's an open source script that was um, developed by the New York Times for Adobe Illustrator and it lets us create responsive graphics for the web based on static graphics that we've created in Illustrator. And this is a really great thing to be able to do um, because Illustrator is, is really one of the top programs for creating static infographics, right? You can um, create beautiful data visualizations in Illustrator. You have lots of freedom to design things and make them look however you want. Um, but you know, a a Illustrator has limited export options where generally you can export as, a, as some sort of static image, a PNG or a JPEG um, or something like that. So you could slap it on the web as a static image, but that leaves a lot to be desired as we'll see. So how does it work? Um, so AI to HTML takes an Illustrator graphic that we've created in Adobe Illustrator on artboards, it runs it through the AI to HTML script, and it outputs two elements, text in HTML and then background images. Um, so what's the advantage of this? Well, there are a lot of advantages. Um, first of all, it's much more accessible than having a static image. For instance, if uh, a screen reader can easily read this HTML text, whereas they wouldn't have been able to read your text that was in a static image. This has search engine optimization implications. Um, now Google can crawl the text of your infographic or data viz, which they couldn't do with a static image. Text doesn't become too small. Uh, we can also make mobile optimized versions of our infographics. So, you know, implement responsive design features as you'll see as we go through. And all the text is searchable since it's now rendered in HTML. Um, so we have a few examples, you know, the, the AI to HTML is really industry standard. I used it at the Sun. We see, um, you know, professional news organizations using it um, just pretty much constantly. Here's an example of some graphics that were done at the Washington Post that were created in Illustrator and then run through AI to HTML to be rendered in native HTML. Um, here's another example of a graphic that Audit made in this in our CNS Bureau. Actually, maybe not in the CNS Bureau. I guess it doesn't matter. This is a, an example of an infographic that Audit made um, where he used AI to HTML, where he created all these graphics in Illustrator, and um, at least these at the top, and then ran them through the script so that they were rendered in native HTML. So um, uh, let's walk through, and I, I actually have a GitHub repo, and again, this is just like a branch of a GitHub repo that, that Audit made, and it really has everything that you'll need to do this. And so um, it's located at github.com slash a martin a m a r t o n slash a i to h t m l and you're welcome to download this or branch it or do whatever you want it has everything that you'll need um, to get started with this okay so let's um, take a look so audit has written up sort of a step-by-step -step guide here and you're welcome to read this anytime to go through it um, you know what the only thing you'll really need to do this is adobe illustrator and a code editor and we're going to be dealing with a number of files, which, which we can just kind of uh, just kind of walk through step by step. The very first thing you need to do, though, to get this up and running is you have to download the AI to HTML JavaScript file and install it in Illustrator, which really just means like pasting it into the scripts file in Illustrator. And so I'll show you guys how that's done. Our assets folder here in the repo um, has everything that you'll need, and it even has this AI to HTML.js file. And I've got that open in one of my windows here. I've got this assets folder. This is just the local version of my repo here. Um, so you would grab that AI to HTML, just copy it, 
Um, and then, you know, I, this is how you would do it on Mac. Um, for Windows, you may have to look up how you access your, your Illustrator file. I'm sure it's, it's very similar. But we go to Applications. We find Adobe Illustrator, which is right here. We open that folder. There's going to be a Presets folder. And then in Presets, there's going to be a folder called EN underscore US, right, American English. And then in that, there's going to be a folder called Scripts. And we just paste that AI to HTML JavaScript file right in there. You can see my already exists because I've used this lots of times before. But again, the repo sort of walks through um, all of that. It'll tell you exactly where to, you know, exactly where you need to paste that JavaScript file. Okay, so, um, you know, the first step, of course, to doing this is to create some infographics or data visualizations in Illustrator, which you can see I've done here. These may look familiar if you've taken my data viz class. These are just some basic bar charts that I've created using pencils. Um, and so this is a desktop version of this infographic. This will display nicely at desktop. And I've also created a mobile version, right? So this, this version here might be a little too wide on mobile, especially, um, yeah, it, it would just scrunch it. So, you know, this is sort of the responsive version that will appear better on phones. And I just, I didn't do a lot, right? I just um, made it not quite as wide and reduce some of the white space in between the bars, things like that. Um, so the, the key here is to work in artboards, um, which is really easy. You know, you can, there's an artboard um, window. Let's see, I've got it open here. Here we go, artboards. You can create new artboards and delete artboards and move them around, resize them, etc. But you basically just want to have one artboard set up for your desktop version and one artboard set up for your mobile version and just sort of have your, your infographics designed. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and run this through the, 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 um, the script. I'll show you, I've got um, another folder open here. So let's close this. I can show you guys I have two folders open at this point. I have that assets folder which is just the GitHub repo where I'm going to grab some stuff. But I also have a folder set up here called AI to HTML Pencil Demo. And this is just where I have, this is where basically our working file here, right? The only thing that I have in that right now is this AI file called barchartpencil.ai, which is just this file right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and run the script. To do that, we go to File, Scripts, and then you should see AI to HTML right there. If you don't see it, click other script and then navigate to wherever you just you just pasted it. Um, and then it'll run it that way. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and it's going to sort of ingest it. It says nice work, but it gives us a couple warnings. So let's let's take a look at these. So it says AI to HTML has not been tested on this version of Illustrator. That's fine, we'll live with that. A couple others though too. Missing a rule for converting font, Poppins extra bold, it gives us a sample text, missing rule for, for Poppins regular, missing rule for Poppins bold. Okay, so um, basically what this is telling us is, you know, we've used these fonts throughout, I've used this font called Poppins, which is a Google font, um, throughout here. And um, it's, it, it's, hasn't been able to match them with a web safe font. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. So what we can do is we can grab this file called AI to HTML dash config dot JSON out of our um, assets folder. And we can go ahead over here to our folder where we've got our AI file and we can just go ahead and paste that in. Um, and we're going to make some changes to that. And actually, before we do that, let's see, we can see, you know, when we ran the AI to HTML package, the script, it created this folder, AI to HTML dash output. And so it created our HTML file here. Um, and if we click on it, we can see, okay, this is what the script did. It took our infographic and it um, converted all the text to HTML text, which is great. And then slapped the images on as background images. And all it's done right now is just stack our two images on top of each other. And that's fine. We'll deal with that later. What it hasn't done is converted our fonts in any sort of meaningful way, right? It just put sort of a default um, serif font on here. And that's what we're trying to fix right now. Okay, so um, back to this JSON file, this AI to HTML dash config file. Let's open that up in a um, code editor. And there's already a couple rules written here. So basically what this does, it's got a script. We've got three of them automatically written here. It's gonna take the AI font, whatever Adobe Illustrator is calling a font, and then it's converting it to some sort of HTML friendly font. Now we could 
use Poppin since it's a Google font, but we'd have to call it in the HTML. And just to make things a little bit um, simpler here during our demo, we're just going to convert to a native HTML font, right? And we'll use Helvetica new in this case. So we've got three of these set up already. And you, you know, if you needed more, you could just keep, um, you know, you could just keep adding them in like that. Um, but three is going to be plenty for us right now because we had three errors. So I'm going to go ahead and run that again just so we can see that error. Okay, so we've got Poppins Extra Bold was our first one. So let's fix that. So we, the AI font was called Poppins Extra Bold. And we're going to convert that to Helvetica New and we're going to give it a weight of 700. Okay, next we had Poppins regular and we're, that was our, eight, our AI font, our Adobe Illustrator font and we're going to convert that to Helvetica new and we'll do it at 400 and finally we have Poppins bold okay and we're going to convert that to Poppins bold we'll convert that to Helvetica new at and we'll go 500 on that so we're just using CSS weights or HTML weights to sort of mimic the, the weights in Illustrator. Okay, so we'll save that. And again, we save that right here in the same folder as our AI file, right? So we've got this JSON file in the same folder as the AI file, because when the script executes, it's gonna look for that JSON file to see if there's anything extra it needs to do. Okay, so let's run it again. So file, scripts, AI to HTML. You can see we're getting you know, we're not getting all those errors this time. So that's awesome, right? That means that our fonts will, are hopefully rendering correctly now. So we'll just say, okay, and let's go take a look at it, right? We'll open up AI to HTML output. We'll open our HTML file. And yeah, things look a lot better, right? Now it's taking those Poppins fonts and it's converting them to, to Helvetica, which is what we, we asked it to do. This looks really nice. So the last step here is making it responsive, right? The, the problem here is that it's just stacked these two images on top of each other, which really isn't what we're looking for. So um, as a last step, we are going to grab a script or a, a file out of the assets file called resizer script. And we'll go ahead and open that up in our code editor. Um, and I'm also gonna go and I'm gonna take the um, this HTML file that AI to HTML created for us, bar chart pencil, and I'm gonna go ahead and open that up in our, um, our code editor too. Okay, so you can see this is what AI to HTML generated for us. It's just a bunch of styles, and then some code that basically converts our text to HTML rendered text, and then pastes our images in as background images, right? It's, it's not the cleanest looking code, but it definitely, it does the trick. Okay, so first thing I want to do just to, to be clean here is I want to add my proper HTML scaffolding around this file. And I'm just going to use a short code in um, VS Code that'll create that scaffolding for me. And so this is all the stuff that AI to HTML generated. And I'll just paste that in the body. Um, okay, great. And so that shouldn't have changed anything. Uh, we can open up, open this up and make sure everything's still working as we want it to. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Exactly the same as before. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this resizer script. Um, and again, this is another script, open source script that's been created to work well with AI to HTML. And we're going to copy that and we're going to go back to our HTML and we're going to paste that in the body of the HTML document above the code that AI to HTML generated. Okay, and we'll save that. And what this is doing is it's looking for our two artboards and then it's creating a responsive um, design based on, on those two artboards. Okay, so if we set this up correctly with two artboards, it's automatically gonna work. So let's go ahead and hit refresh. And suddenly this is looking a lot more like, like what we wanted, right? Here at desktop size, we've got our one image, our full screen desktop infographic. And if we resize, Right when we get when the as the browser shrinks, it automatically switches to our smaller version of the image, which is awesome. Right, so we've taken this purely static infographic that we made in Illustrator and created an HTML rendered responsive infographic that we can use on the web um, with just a couple quick steps. 
So that's AI to HTML, and I encourage you to check out the repo, and um, you can get everything you need from here. And good luck. There's plenty more you can do with the script.